when you are looking at the history of the Second World War, you see that one of the recent developments has been the uh, mushrooming of the perpetrator research, because it gives a very different perspective uh, than uh, only looking at the uh, victims and only looking at the political history. However, the perpetrator research very often only focusing on men as perpetrators. So most of the typologies which we are using about the perpetrators, they are based on the analysis of the uh, live stories, biographies of male perpetrators. The female perpetrators during the Second World War very often narrowed down to the guards of the concentration camps. And therefore the Hungarian case is again unique because here you have got um, a very special social group participating in uh, killing, murdering, robbing, uh, and looting uh, those uh, Jews who were living in Hungary. One of uh, the misses of the far-right movement is that this is only a, a movement uh, which mobilizes men. And uh, of course uh, the uh, statistical reality is that uh, usually twice as many men are participating in this movement than women, but the question is should we leave then those uh, women aside when we are uh, doing research on far-right movements. And from the 1970s onward, there are uh, different researches trying to cover these issues, making them visible. Because these new movements and uh, uh, new organizations opened up space for women. Uh, in some cases, the Aerocross had got 30% of female membership. And if you look at the present political situation, you see that, uh, um, uh, that usually the political parties had a maximum 10-15% women even today in Hungary. So you see that the extreme right had really a mobilization of potential during the Second World War. This is a methodological problem in this research, that you cannot really judge uh, what has really happened. You know only the files, right? So you know uh, that uh, allegedly somebody was uh, uh, convicted for a certain crime, uh, you really don't know if that crime happened. And uh, therefore it is very difficult to say, uh, to compare those uh, uh, judgments. On the other hand, if we assume that that type of uh, the similar crime has happened, we see that women usually uh, receive heavier sentences than men because uh, the gender politics and the stereotypes in the court worked uh, against women.